Oh, I think I forgot to ping yesterday and... Boom. Okay. We are alive. Um, I do want to do a quick. Oops! Oh man. Um, I've got to figure out where this is so I can have it on the other screen again. Don't want to accidentally leak. Don't want to accidentally leak anything. Nice. Yep. Had had email open. Nice. Had email open. Some close calls there. I just realized maybe, maybe it would be a good idea to not have everything open. That might be a good idea. Okay. Can't even clop. That's why I had to leave. <clears throat> I gotta write more info in the book club thing. Um, commands. Edit book club. Join us. Read me. Ashcan. Glad you got my hair. Me too now. It is better, isn't it? Um, what's book club? We're going to start it up in two weeks. In two weeks. Um, approximately. Me, Bash Bunny, Vegan Bot, and one unnamed person yet because I'm, uh, asking, because we haven't done it. Wait for breeding. I have two children already. I've successfully completed the breeding journey, apparently. I think it's the weirdest way that I've ever talked about having kids before, but uh, what are you going to do? Um, we're So we're going to have book club every other Friday. We're going to talk about some books. We're first going to talk about seven languages in seven weeks. You can buy it there and you can join the Discord if you want more info. We'll be posting more info as time goes on. So pretty excited about it. It should be really fun. Ashken, how's life, by the way? Did, uh... Yeah, I, I know it's been a little bit since we chatted, huh? I, um... Oh, so someone asked. Someone asked, and I was going to tell you about this anyways, Ashken. Um... <clears throat> I just merged a PR into Neovim Core. <laughs> I mean, it's a real PR, but we uh, we really did it. We really we really generated some Lua code from Vim9 script uh, so that uh, we can run Bram's crazy code inside NeoVim. Isn't that funny? So why would you do this? People in chat are wondering. Well, we don't want to actually support Vim9 script. We don't want to actually have that like inside of the code. So what's a different option of instead of actually running that code? You make new code that's functionally equivalent to that code and then run that. Those are the same things, right? So that's what Vim 9 just does. It takes, uh, it takes Vim script code, Vim 9 script, and turns it into Lua code that can be run by NeoVim. So some of that Lua code still calls Vim.command or other things like that, right? It still calls into the Vim script engine. Not like I generated new definitions for every Vim function. Right, so it wouldn't run outside of NeoVim. But we take that and then we generate this Lua code that actually runs, um, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> which is pretty cool. So you can just put in, uh, I'll give an example. And yeah, we can do this one as an example. So this, it, well, maybe I should do um, build Vim runtime pack C filter plugin here. So this is the Vim 9 script code. Yes, exactly, Ashkin, exactly. And then we don't have to have um, C 
cd build vim in vim 9 script so <laughs> If you just scroll through all of these 600 times. She said, green, green blue, blue sky. sky. On the day. It does. I didn't even realize that it was still running. It ran overnight, apparently. Um, so each of these are places where Bram checks. Hey, are we currently in Vim 9 script? If so, let's do something different. Okay. We don't want to do that. Right? We don't, we just don't want to have to do that. So instead of doing that, you just make, you just make Lua code that can do the same things. Um, <clears throat> and there's probably more, right? Because inside of here, there's like all these Vim 9 checks, right? So you're going to if do not, if Vim 9. It's not even just those places. Nine head. Nine head. Right? So it's not even just those places. It can be a a additional places, right? So that's why we did it. Who's more elastic? Probably Prime, I guess. When are you writing 17 compelling reasons to start ditching Lua now? We should. Codebase isn't in Rust yet. Well, you'll appreciate this though. Vim 9 jit. Wait, where is my little languages thingy? Oh, you can't you can't see. Cuz it's not in core. It's not in core. I can write in whatever I want and Justin said it's fine. Justin gave me the keys to the car and I made a spaceship instead. Okay? So he was like you can do whatever you want. It's not a course. I was like, well, let's give in script to zero and I'll be happy. <laughs> so anyways, all of the code that does the parsing and everything is all in Rust. Everything about it's in Rust. It generates the Lua code though. <laughs> Just go away for a little bit. Have a few kids and he's right in Rust. Let's get some E-Lisp. We could, Nix, you know, it'd be hilarious. Nix, I know that this is just good enough meme that you might actually do it. Instead of having Vim 9 gen in the last stage... <laughs> to, to Lua! <laughs> I'm just saying! I'm just saying! <laughs> you could put... You could just make a new generator! You could make a new generator. Uh, and then it would, and then you could output that. I don't see why not. Maybe Vim 9 jet can be, imagine using Vim 9 script in Emacs. Maybe Vim 9 jet will become the lingua franca of the internet. Or I don't know if that's how you actually say it, because I only know English like a good American. But, uh, at least it's not as bad as Prime. <laughs> um, so anyways, so that this, this code actually is in Rust, and it's pretty good, I think. It's pretty cool. Wouldn't Lingua Franca be PHP? Vim 9 jet to PHP? That's what I'm saying. No, we're going to write something that Vim 9 jet can transpile to all the languages. Right? Vim 9 jet is the new WASM. Or a reverse wasm. Write once, run everywhere. Vim 9 script. <laughs> Aren't those Vim scripts that both use old Vim script and Vim 9 script in the same file? Yes, Daniel, but in they aren't currently really happening in Vim's runtime. So that's not a big deal. Net disassembler. That's funny. If we all use Vim 9, none of us will be happy, which means it's a perfect... Con we can all just agree that it's not good and then be happy. There's no fighting. You run across the whole code base now. No, that's not what we would really do. So right now, uh, I have another PR that's almost done now that I'm in the middle of writing and will submit shortly. Uh, but this is the new C filter Vim plugin. Maybe I should just open this in, um, in Vim.
so that you can actually read it. Runtime, pack the DDDD. Uh, whoops. C filtered of it. Okay. So this, this also. Native editor of config support. Let's go. That's yeah, pretty cool. So this, this is the next file that I'm doing. This already works as well. I'm just in the middle of writing tests. And this one actually has quite a bit of features, a surprising number of features. So this, this file exists in Vim. Okay, this file exists in Vim. Okay, I have a talk idea. All right, speak it then. Um, and you can do this. You can do this. The pattern can actually be closed with one of the pattern is quote, 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 the pattern empty, then the last search pattern is used. Of course, not given my B. Wait, what? Where is what? I don't I don't use Vorac. What? Submitting a patch to Emacs in the next couple months. Whoa. Um, so this actually has a lot. This has function references. This has basically, in a sense, currying, Vim's style of currying. It has lots of different comparisons. It has slices. It has registers. It has, um, it has, these are lambdas, inline functions, right? Be very popular talk. Okay, well, DM me right now. New Year, I hope you had a nice celebration and that your family. Uh, we are. Thank you, Asbron. It was a great, it was a great New Year's and Christmas time. Thanks for 21 months. That's forever. How to get in a relation for the nerdy and technical. Should I actually, with real advice? Vim, Vim script is actually crazy. Yes, I need. <laughs> I need helps. <laughs> what if it's not advice people want to hear, though? My advice was probably not ones that people, is that people want to hear. <laughs> My first advice would be, uh, need some hard truths. Okay, well, here's, here's the, the, sh the short answer. You look different. I cut my hair recently. <laughs> Not super recently, a few months. I think you've been here since then. Um, I don't think the lighting's any different. My, my big truth would be, are you someone currently that if you had kids, you would want your like daughter or son to bring back to you and say like, hey, dad, I'm dating this person or hey, mom, I'm dating this person. I cut at Halloween. Exactly. I was Samson. <laughs> yeah, I'm awesome. Well, then <laughs> why is there fucking off the wall making your hair look green? That's probably true. Well, then I guess you're set, Warforge. That's most of the advice. Um, that's, that's where most of my advice would be from though. It revolves around that idea, right? And if not, then what's preventing you from doing that? Right. Am I confident? <laughs> Step two. Well, Nix, Nix, obviously if like my daughter, Izzy brought a boy over and he said that he was using arch, he's already disqualified. So that's part of step one. Yeah, that's obviously not like it's already been a problem. Hey, is it your chestnut? <laughs> nice liver. That's a good idea. Perhaps some humility is needed. Humility is <laughs> Next. abusing mod powers. Uh, oh, chat. So, anyways, this is what the code looked like before. This is what it looks like after. Like, look at this. This is just Lua. It's the same. And then look at this beautifulness here. Creating user commands. Look at how it transforms this chat into this. Wow. <clears throat> RG doesn't have time to settle down. Exactly. Did you say I managed to stream? You, you, I did not see that, Nick. That's funny. I have four kids and a wife. I I use Arch. Stu, we still haven't confirmed any of those details in real life, though. Um, okay, Warforged, I'll think about it. That would be a pretty funny video, though. But I would actually make it serious. I mean, like, it's a funny video idea. 
Vim version is far more concise. Well, it's more concise because you have to write it in a not very Lua way to make sure that it matches. You wouldn't write it this way if you were doing it in Lua. You would write different things. Like, I have to cheat. Like, this operator doesn't exist. This, this operator means... Does this thing match regex with this thing? Or does this one not match regex with this thing? That is just... You think this is better or worse than saying you need to make a regex? Do I have to read the whole NVIM doc to make a plugin? Definitely not. Just open up a Lua file and start typing. <clears throat> so we have to do a few things that are defensive in the generated code that you wouldn't if you were writing it the same. But it doesn't really even matter if it's better or not. I'm a weeb and I use Arch. I accept my bloodline dies with me. <laughs> Actually, I would have thought that you'd be on the Nix OS by now. Are you using i3WM with a Mac OS? No, I only use Mac in airports. I use Awesome WM and I'm on Pop OS. Open up a teal file. That works too. Nix, I'm still waiting for my GigaChat emote. I know that now I could just download that and then do the do the pictures that I send you, but I'm still waiting for it. Um. Okay. So, anyways, though, what what was I doing now? Great question. Great question. I was writing um, a test file for this. Am I in the right folder? I am. C filters. C filter spec. Chill music today. Make my own S slowly. <laughs> well, but then once you finish, you'll be safe. You'll be allowed to date. Like after you move off Arch, it's fine. But as soon as you finish it, you're in the clear, buddy. You're in the clear then. What happened to our intro music? It's working, but you need to submit your theme songs again. I think. Where is my... Nope, not this one. It should still be working. You have to submit. You have to re-add them. Yeah, you'll save from the rain free time to do your work. I really said myself, I know this yak is naked, but I gotta keep shaving. <laughs> nice. What are you working on today? Then I will finally be ready to shower. I haven't added back how um, for it to send messages. Uh, the new version of subbed doesn't know how to send messages back. <laughs> it's a bang theme song, URL, minute, minute, second, second, minute, minute, second, second, like this. So, it's not aware yet of that. Mostly, Nix, I was just worried that, like, if I give the bot the power to send messages, is it not, like... Is it not going to just chat GPT overthrow me? Move value. Move occurs because X has type string, which does not implement the copy trait. Nice. Excellent theme song. Welcome to the chat, Nix. That looks like Lua. Does sub no longer check GitHub? I have to add that feature back as well, Calder. What's the time limit again? Once per day is when it plays. Have I pushed this branch yet? What just got merged? Oh, nice. That's cool.
Are you using IRC to parse Twitch chat? I wrote Rustlip, but I have problems occasionally getting discount the IRC is a bit unstable. Uh, I just used some uh, crate for it. Ashken, does subject for changes from begin and revert them? Now that would be smart. Everyone on AppCly tool would ever spend a couple days getting on right and read me task center and literally never run it. Wait, what? <laughs> for yourself? What? Wait, wait, what? So this, this we generated, and then now we wrote ourselves a nice, <clears throat> a nice little test, test cases here with a bunch of different tests. We probably should add a few more, some like reg X ones, if you will. Uh, you can check what it, uh, honestly, the code is not, well, it's just whatever. Here's, here's where uh, the stuff is for sub. I should probably push while be before Began can destroy what I've written. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. We might work on subbed in a little bit. I was just finishing up... Um, I wanted to finish up this PR as well. I don't really know if I need to add any more tests for it. Like before the plugin didn't even have any tests. Are you busy? No, I've got all the time in the world. <laughs> uh, sorry. I mean, you could just ask, but I, I might say no. I might, what? <laughs> I just confused. <laughs> Um, where's the other one that I was ringing on? Does this work? What does this look like if, um... Nail? Okay. Sub D's looks nice. We're reading that. Very cool, Ashkin. Thanks. Let me grab my Linux Bible. Is it safe to SSH from work laptop to home PC? Uh, depends what you mean. Safe. I don't even know what you mean. Safe. Tail scale is a one button solution. I don't know if it's safe. Do you like your job? Does your <laughs> Uh, Delta. Man, it's so singing cool, chat, that we can... That we can do this. Oh, I was gonna do as well. Git log... Format one or runtime uh, diff uh, pack opt C filter C filter a plugin here, yeah. I did want to keep this as well. We got to keep this around. Um, this is the current status of this uh, this file. Is Vim Ninjit feature complete? Depends what you mean. It can currently generate a lot of um, a lot of working things from Vim's runtime. It is not feature complete in the sense that Bram just re recently added classes to the language, and I haven't done that yet. C 
So that part is not feature complete because it's the feature is incomplete. Well, Ashkan, I thought you just said you were going to bed. It's 4 a.m. So I'm going to sleep, which is why I managed to catch you online. Oh, nice. So 4 a.m. You are. Wait, are you like 14 hours ahead of me? Where are you now, Ashkan? Wait, so Vim9 script is an actual language. Stu, I don't even know what you're saying. Hey, thanks, Ashkan. I'll see you later, buddy. Get some rest. He lives in 2024 already. That explains it. With inflation, that's basically like finding a quarter on the ground. I didn't know a syntax could have classes. Oh, it's in Japan. He, I thought he was in Japan, but I didn't know that... Wait, so are you plus or minus for me? Oh, you're minus for me. You're minus... 2, 10? Oh, minus 10. Right, because China's minus 12 for me. Minus 10. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I didn't know a syntax could have classes. Stu, it's a whole new language. It's been that way from the start. This is literally Stu. Um, astronaut gun meme. Or is Japan ahead of me? I don't know. I want to generate this. Hello? Caption this meme. Wait. M9 script is a whole new language? It always has been. Why is this crummy font, though? This is you, though, Stu. <clears throat> what is your full-time job nowadays? I work at a company called Sourcegraph. Way ahead. It's 4 a.m. Friday. Holy cow. He's a, he isn't living in the future. Ashkan's playing 4D chess with us. Always has been. That's used to. But I don't know why that's the most scuffed version of this. Any tips? Wow, that is boom. I uh, ignored everything after friends. Smart, Stu. Your life is is truly better that way. And just for Neil's civility, since I'm leaving some days and time, sometimes it kind of breaks down. Something breaks and stuff goes wonky. So this is a meme stream now. We are working on Vim 9 script, so Take that as you may. <laughs> Always has been. Oh my goodness. You know what would be an awesome sub feature? Oh, what's up, Walrus? Um, would be to auto-generate memes. And put them onto the screen with text. That would be a sweet feature. There used to be meme gen API meme, something like this. I don't even know how to say that. Meme gen dot link, I think is this one. This is, this is from some of my old buddies, I think, right? Is this the one? Yep, I used to, I worked with some of these guys. Oh, and they're still adding memes. Nice. Available formats. Where can I find all the templates here? Dang, that's pretty next level right here. No, I was thinking you'd type like bang meme um, always has been and then something here like this, right? And it would just like slide, it would slide up right here. You know what I mean? I was writing them in some obscurely old version of C just for kicks. What does this new? I don't even know how to refer to this. You can start an NVIM basically like in the background and connect multiple different TUIs to it. What's up, Walrus? Thanks for the sub, by the way. 13 months is wild. Hard time catching on. Yes, keep trying and keep trying hard. This is not a ping. I'm just eating breakfast at noon. <laughs> it's lunchtime, Bash. You've already messaged me for several hours today. How long does it take you to eat breakfast? Yeah, JB. Just just keep trying and asking questions. 
Well, not in Tokyo. True. I'm so behind. She woke up at 4 a.m. Still eating breakfast. <laughs> now I don't know what's happening. Layouts or layout top? When you have a really good idea. Dang. When you eat breakfast at noon. Because I went to bed at like a 1.30. There you go, Bash. This one's for you. I'm learning Java now. I'm like, huh? I think that's a lot of people's response when they learn Java. I don't know. This one, it's not, not really that good, but it's for you. That's the best that I have. Okay. Um... Okay, what are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Uh oh, did I mess something up? Unused variable exists. Man! Oh, we can change this too. New Year. It is a happy new year. Easy to feel like you're the only one struggling with really people. Really the people is easy for been coding for a while and are really going to give try that class. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, some people, I, I would say I wouldn't even, it doesn't even matter if other people are struggling or not. You just do your best. You keep working hard at that. And that's all that you can worry about, right? Some people will just be better at you than coding. Some people will just be worse. That's okay. That's just literally life. I hooked up using my personal IP doxing. Nice. So you just you just try your best. You work hard at it. Just keep going. But that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying it doesn't you just don't need to worry about what other people think about you or what you're doing or how good you are compared to them or, or if you have to work four times as hard or a quarter as hard. Doesn't matter. Right? In terms of what it means for your life. You just got to you just got to go out and do it. Um should we work on sub for a little bit now? I have like I I don't know that I'm going to do anything more for these PRs right now. My first class was learning scripting with Python. Now I'm in intro software dev with Java. Very cool. It's okay to be like you don't know things. You know, you're learning. Making sub 10 messages again? Yeah, that does seem kind of like a reasonable thing. You do the liver. Result is as relevant. Oh, long as the effort's there. X, Q, C. No, I actually think the opposite of that. The result is relevant, but you might have to do more or less work than other people. Remove the memory leak when you create the auto device. No, I think I'm going to leave that. Um, it only happened. It literally is one box per time I start the thing. It's just one. It's okay. One box of one output is basically nothing. No problem, JB, that's me. Although maybe I should say, JB, that's you. Kind of confusing. Uh, okay, let's figure out how to make the send messages again. Switch service. 
Probably should have like a sending message thing. How did I do this before? Does Began have sending messages again still? Oh, oops, I broke Began's thing, but I'm not gonna fix it. Should I fix Began's thing or should I just let it be broken? Uh, we're building subbed right now. Average starts with Python getting a similar language other than building, so be more curious about it. I agree. I also like learning Python first. I even think Java this would be okay to start with too. Just because you can see things on the screen. For company effort is hundred percent irrelevant. Personal goal and the result might not be more important. Right, but then the like learning or other things would be the thing that's important to you. He's alone in his room sitting talking to a camera. And all I have is just a bunch of chat GPT and the audience. Just put an insert into somewhere just like he gave to you. Break it more and don't say anything. I broke it for him. He'll be able to figure it out though. What do you think about web development? I don't. Which is the only right, right answer. <laughs> Based. Changes audio sync to buy <laughs> Oh no 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 no. Look at this. You think he'll ever notice? <laughs> you think he'll ever notice? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna leave that one. I'm leaving it for him. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell him. I'm not gonna tell him. <laughs> it's supposed to be pulse. I'm not gonna tell him, chat. Don't tell him. That's what he gets for not watching stream. Fix Began's uh code since I changed the interface. <laughs> I ain't even gonna say that I fixed his code. <laughs> JB, web dev's fine, dude. You should do. You should try it and see if you like it. I have to wait a month for him to stream. <laughs> nice. You've hey, standard robot. You've graduated. You're watching without a computer. Very cool. Um, is this not running? It should be running now, right? Did it play? Maybe it was just quiet. Here, I think it. I think it just was quiet. Try again, Luxious. Yeah, I think I turned it down. Someone has really loud ones. Someone had really loud ones. Web Dev has a quick feedback cycle. Any questions? Um, yes. Are you going to finish that croissant? Croissant. Whose was the really loud one? Okay. Um, let's close this. Let's go one size smaller so I can actually see stuff. We need to add a way to send messages again. Now, at one point I had this. Um, it's a few commits ago though. We had something like this. So I'm kind of thinking, well, first thing we can just put this back right here, right? Twitch username.
Yesterday, how much you like audio work? You should add a volume normalizer. Yeah, I don't know how to do that though. Subs for what? Sorry, I'm new here. What do you mean subs for what? I uh, gotta go. Hey, catch you later, liver. What's up, concavity? What key bindings do you have for Tmux? None. I don't use Tmux, even though it's very cool. You said you're making subs. We're making sub duh, this project right here. It's the thing that plays the theme songs for people and more and more hypothetically someday. But theme songs work again. You just have to resubmit yours. Cavity, if you remember what it was. And more. Hashtag you're different. I, uh, you mean your? It doesn't matter if someone does it right or not. You just always say the opposite one. It's a uh, bang theme song. URL zero zero uh, minute 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 second second minute minute second second like this. Want to be like you when I grow up? Oh shoot, am I old? I'm still in my twenties. Relax, JB. You could add cool chat overlay. We had a chat overlay. I don't need. Maybe it'll still work. Honestly, I have no idea. Um, crates. Sub you. I, except I think this didn't work last time, right? I tried to run trunk serve and it really didn't like me. I don't know why it doesn't like me here. Cargo.toml. I wonder if I need to update any of these. What are my types? Async trait chrono dot and one cell Saturday Saturday days on tracing. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Types cannot import from SQL X, I feel like. Why does it even do that? Oh. Is learning command line a must? I think it's good. The theme song, theme song code is still leaky. Yes. See, that's a problem. That's a problem. How can I avoid this problem? How often do they contribute really bad code to open source program? Not very rarely. Um, you can just read the help for both the code, and then you'll be able to see. <clears throat> I know you can do it, Yoni. I believe in you. Map a different type when saving to database. Right, I just need to implement SQLX type like this, basically. So instead of just deriving this, I need to do this myself. But if, they, if you can't figure it out, Yoniko, then I will tell you. But I know you can figure it out. Being comfortable and me. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you noticed. Uh, <laughs> uh, downloading the song. Nice. Reading the help as we speak. Yeah, I figured you were. Mm, depends on the kind of software, I guess, front end stuff will be worth fine. Yeah, but it's still good to know. Zoomer time, chat. I just want to relate to the kids. Walrus, you need to submit your theme song again. Copy the expanded code from SQLX type to write. Exactly. Something like that, yeah. Surely I can figure out how to do this, right? I should know how to do this anyways, because I want to do this, right? Got it. What makes more money? Whatever one you're going to be able to do better, probably. If only Twitch chat had history. Well, here's, here's the thing, Scotty. I've got the history of it, but it's in the same database that we can't open right now and really connect to in SQLite uh, that we could also move the other files to. <laughs> so it's equally difficult to go back and get that one <laughs> as it would be to just <laughs> load them in. <laughs> so I actually have both. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We can just do Cargo Expand for this. That's fine. Um, I will do it here. Cargo expand 
lit. Can I do, do I, can I run this from, maybe I should go into this crate, Vim9 types, or not Vim9, that's the wrong one. <sighs> okay. Cargo expand source types. Can I just do cargo expand here? I just found a lot of recruiter one for your partial time, I have to decline. I kind of get the difference now. Should just RTFM. That's what I see. Yoriko, I knew you could do it. Why would you do open source? If you can't make money from why don't you spend your coding time working on scalable money making projects? I can't tell if that's if you're just memeing or not. Feels super helpful to learn the command line. Yes. Agreed. Um, I probably can't even find it in here. What's the type that I was looking for? Um, user platform. It's yeah. Um, source lib. Can I do? I don't think I can do that, right? I don't know how to expand just that one. Oh, I know that I can do it with, um, unrecognized option. Pretty. Oops. Okay. I don't know what, I don't know how to do that. Becoming spot, um, you power show. I love bash. We could just cat it to a file, I guess. Yeah, I think I, I think I had that. I, what I, I don't know why I'm not even thinking. We can just do cargo expand, and just do touch.txt. User platform. Okay. Probably don't even need this, right? So this is encode, right? And then this is decode. Oh, but I don't think, will I even be able to do this though in a different lib though? Black tea or matcha? Mm, usually black tea bash. That's what I would pick. Hello. I ran into knowing our tools bug or didn't line hints, even though I know you that things. We're building subbed. Um, how do I unpin this so that I can actually see chat? Thank you. Was the was uh Ben is Pettigrew? Are you were you trolling or not? I don't even know if you're still here. You are right though, I feel that encoding PowerShell is very useful. It depends. I haven't used uh, PowerShell in years. There's lots of things that you can learn that are very useful, but you don't always want to use them all the time. So here's what I think I need to do. Actually, I think what would be smart to do instead is inside of types, we need to figure out and remember how to do this. I'm actually curious as well. So just answer one, you get to learn a lot of things Two, It can be really fun. Three it can help your career in other ways besides directly making money from that. For example, job offers or people notice you. It's also sometimes feels good just to do things that other people like, and you can do that as well. That's part of doing it for fun. Those are some easy examples. I already like, I mean, I wouldn't turn down making more money, but I don't need money from open source every day, right? I like go. That's a good reason. I've learned tons of stuff, tons of stuff. Did you get job offers because people notice you? For me, yeah, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily the average experience for an open source contributor necessarily, but um, but it is helpful either way to have something where you can say that and you learn a lot of things. I do. I think that helps as well. You also, generally speaking, if you find what you like developing for fun, you can look for ways to develop that fun for money. That's how I got a job at Sourcegraph because I wanted to do things that I thought was fun. And so then I did that. So I think, um, let me check over here. Can't show, I actually can't show you guys this because it's a secret project, secret project. But
I think I can do this. I can do config adder feature SQL derive. Can I also put this here? Does this work? Nice. So then I think I can take this off. All company. Wait, uh, I want to learn links within VM. Don't know what ISO to download. Just try Pop OS. It's the best one. You can do Ubuntu, though. It's good. I want to know if you guys an elite code interview, which is what all companies care about these days, not your actual knowledge. That's not true. That didn't happen at my company. I didn't even have to write code to get hired at my at this place. And I didn't have to do elite code at my last job either. I literally didn't say that you should expect to get offers from companies from open source. I said that you can use what you've learned and those things as part of your resume. 10x leap code solver. That's the guy I would hire. How did you learn to code and if you had to start again? How did you learn? I went to school for it for a bit and then I did a lot by myself. I was going to do code is good, but not a good metric. That's fine. I don't really care about leap code one way or the other. You learn from doing time in the saddle, JB. Time in the saddle. Okay. You got to make your own projects. You got to do your own stuff. And you just got to beat everybody else. That's how you can get faster, get better. If you want those results, then you got to go and work for it. Just like anything else in your life. No, we don't have that here. You can go to Prime's channel to check that, Fabio. We just say time in the saddle and wink here. It's a little classier. Okay. Okay, Fabio. Yeah, you can, you can do leak code and you can learn a lot of things from it. <laughs> okay so i think we can do this right do i have any other sql axes here or sql axes here okay so i think if i do that oh we can remove this oops delete that yeah i don't actually know how to make a feature cargo i actually don't think i've ever made a new feature so this is good this is something that we can features defines a feature Web P that does not enable any other feature. Okay, so sure. Features. SQL. Okay. When this feature enables config expressions, which can be used to conditionally include core feature, for example, librs, could include this. Config web P mod web P. Nice. Cargo sets the feature in the package using the rest of the cargo flag. Config attribute. Ico turns on both those. Well, we only want to do sequels. Is there a beta to sub? Yeah, download it and run it for yourself, but it's really not ready for other people. Zin had, um, Rust book. I thought you were on the OCaml train. We're not doing Rust book. What, Jersey? Oh, this one. Oh, well, OCaml's still the best, of course. But, you know, sometimes you got to do a few other things. Um, this is the default feature. Okay. Default SQL. Okay, no default features. So then that's what I want to pass into um into here. Right? Is I want to say sub types default features is false. I don't think that this, I still don't think this is going to work though. I don't think that that's going to work because it doesn't actually turn this off. So we'll try, we'll try to figure out because I don't know how to turn this. How do I say that this only happens for a particular feature? Dependencies, optional is true. Can be marked optional, not compiled by default. For example, let's say a 2D image. Um, optional dependency implicitly defines a feature that looks like this depth yeah. okay so now we say sql x optional is true and then we would say depth 
x equal x like this right and we'll see what that does go do other things in order to prove how good okay exactly what's up white chest still new here what are we building we are building a project called subbed command uh, commands edit today working on subbed nice a use of undercoated clay or module platform we need to change what other features we have for some of these other ones too um probably this maybe one of these will work rust ls native certs server listening here does this work now oh <gasps> is it running again hello do we get a chat message i can't tell if it's working or not oh no it's not okay so we still have something wrong here i don't know which one has this uh rust ls rust ls native certs twitch irc okay so we want to take this off i think for workspace.dependencies for types we probably don't want to do that types cargo because we have this right default features twitch api 2 pub sub twitch oauth we probably don't even want that right do I even need that at all? F? Wait. What? Hello? F indeed? Are we back? What's what's happening? Am I here? It doesn't say I'm dropping any frames or anything. But since they're using them, slowly grabbing because makes you have it then VS VS please make sure that you beep it. Um, when I'm writing Rust code, it takes a while to show the LSP hints errors. Other times I need W to show. I'm using WSL on Windows too. Yeah, sometimes you need to write it. Uh, I don't remember if they're fixing that in Rust Analyzer or what. Just uh, just save more often. It's fine. You're here. Okay. Was that OCaml trying to send me a message? Uh, let's just cancel this one here. I don't I don't want to actually run this every time. Okay, so it's still not that. My thought would be, okay, so we go to we go to oh man, okay. Sorry, chat. Let me just let me just think about this for a sec. Types lib, okay. Twitch API channel subscribe events. So this is probably stupid. Like this is probably dumb of me to do that I accept this as the thing. But well, okay, sure, pub sub. Wait, why do we have OAuth? I don't think we need this one. Let's take this out of our types. Cargo Tommel. Anyhow, async trait chrono.m Serta. I think the rest of these should be fine. I don't know who is depending on this. That's the thing that is confusing for me. Twitch API 2, Twitch. Oh, this does need OAuth too, huh? Twitch is down Twitch is down bad. Okay, I'll just ignore the Fs in chat. I'll just do my best to ignore it. Um 
this whole thing shouldn't even happen if, um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, so I have this one, right? Now I need to go to you and I go to this, right? And so I go to types here. Default features is false. Okay. Two times in one week. Embarrassing. Back to normal. Nice. Um, I would like to figure out why this is happening. For some reason, I feel like it's probably something Began did. Could not compile Rust LS native certs, right? So I'm trying to figure out, okay, who could be doing Rust LS native certs? It looks like the only one that could be would be Twitch IRC, right? So when I go over to sub to you, Twitch IRC, I just have with Saturday, right? And when I'm here, I also say that these are the only features that I want. Pub sub here. So I don't, I guess I don't really understand why, why? Because cargo, this will work for cargo build, right? Like this can build here. The problem isn't building for this. Uh, chat, what was your favorite moment on Twitch? Now that it's dead forever. Yeah, instead of live coding, now we just have dead coding. So it does work doing that, right? Use of undeclared crate or module platform. Compiling. How do I find? There's got to be um, cargo tree, right? Isn't that what I look for? Cargo tree. And I'm looking for native. Rust LS native like this, right? So this is all part of. We scroll up this way. Request. Right? ID specification. Can I just say like that it matches this? Is there like a pattern? Dependencies to display, um, dash I Rust LS native cert. Is that what it was called? So Twitch IRC depends on this and request. So how are we even getting request in here? Subbed you. Too much chase in the Twitch code base. Someone recently did a load mode no, modules. Yeah. You're going to keep streaming on YouTube? I haven't even tried yet, Bash, but I will at some point. Dad coding? Aren't you a little young? I, I have two children. I'm definitely qualified as a dad. Christian want me to hear, what's your plan for the book club discord? What do you, what, what do you mean? What's the plan? We're going to give you info about it and let you join in on stuff and do interesting things there. Let's go book club. No more music? Can you not? Uh, it's down because it's broken right now, Wusa. Woo, I can see ads now. Nice. Well, technically you're not subbed, Bash. Or maybe you are and it's just not showing. I actually don't know. Oh, back to stream. Okay, this is just confusing to have this one here. Trunk serve. We'll just try and have this one work, but we're getting something. Pro we're getting a problem here, right? So wh what's the problem? Let's just quit out of everything. Why in the world would that change? Okay. 
questionable at best. I don't know what's going on there. Alright, so we're here. Finish compiling here. Error from asset pipeline, error from cargo build execution, error. So this is this is the problem. When we're trying to compile this, it doesn't work. Rust LS native cert. So I'm wondering who is making that problem, right? So we go into our crates, we go into sub, maybe types even, and we do this. Uh, cargo tree dash I this, right? It says request. Okay, so you're saying, okay, that's weird. That's weird, sure. So we go to types, cargo, and we can try and figure out why that's happening. What happened after Apple? I want to know whether you had a book in mind. Yes, we do. We have seven langs. We're going to do this book first every other week. We're going to stream the book club live. Captain with a thanks for the sub. Well, a little me are going to need art so I can get started on my projects. Yeah, yeah, no worries, Touchel. I didn't know what you meant. Like, I thought you meant particularly about the Discord. I was like, well, I don't know what we're going to do with the Discord yet. I, I, I don't know. So, subtypes depends on Twitch IRC. Twitch IRC depends on request. How do I turn that off then? Can I not do that? What happens if I just copy this in, comment this line out, default features fault, and we just do this, right? Oh, oh, interesting. So how do I make it so that it doesn't turn on the features that show up from the workspace? Um, cargo, Toml, workspace, ignore features from root. <laughs> Thanks, Etsy. Yeah, I'm not sorry. I'm not subs. I sponsor and get. Oh, that's right, Bash. That's right. If only you could turn off particular people from getting ads, anyways. Pink Gamer. Hey, thanks for the sub. What's the five months of subbing? I actually bought Turbo. Why do you want that? So that I could turn off ads three months in advance. Wait, who? what? So, wait, what? Someone did three months in advance. Did I miss somebody doing three months in advance? It doesn't say that in my thing. So prepare for tier one. They just have to be high Q and get turbo. That's what I got recently as well. It's way better. No oh, turn off features. Ah, okay. Because when we compile for the front end, we need to get rid of all the things that can't compile to Wasm, which is stuff like networking. It can't just like run an HTTP server in Wasm, right? Yes, bash. Trying to upload 2x a week. Holy cow, 2x a week. Nice. Pinhead Gamer, have you watched my YouTube video? That's not the one, but you can find it on my channel. So specify silent ignored when building from the root of workspace with default members. I actually don't know why that would be the case, but so to do. It would be great to figure out how to do this without um, having to copy this in. Okay, so now we don't find anybody that depends on that, right? So we go cd down to here into subbed u and we do cargo tree this as well maybe i need to cargo build this again and then maybe it'll change i don't know what's your cadence for youtube want to do it with me holy cow we could okay i'll t i would okay bash you want to upload twice a week and i upload twice a week and we both have to upload twice a week or we get made fun of starting next week though Right, because I like I don't think I can do it this because it's already hit most of the way through the week. Doing Monday and Thursday. Well then maybe I'll do mine on Tuesday and Friday. So that it's not the same day. So our viewers don't get overloaded with awesome things.
Maybe you should get a taste for ridicule by starting this week. <laughs> Why, thank you. That's very kind of you. All right, let's try this again. Oh. Okay, well, that's new. What is this? Failed to run. This is an open SSL sys. Okay. Cargo tree dash I this. Tongues tonight. So we need to do the same thing for tongues tonight, I think. Is this going to be the one, chat? Sorry, forever in the crossfire. I love the title. Thank you. Maybe you should just... <laughs> They're just doing collabs with me. True, uh, 4chan roasts me. Big time. We're getting closer, though, chat. We're getting closer. Method not found in response. Twitch OAuth climb. Response.version. What is this? Who is even doing this? Twitch OAuth. So I'm just back on my Neo and updating the latest stable Neo. Nice. Chat, you all know you all know the 4chan story about the biggest roast of uh, 2022. There, you're already all aware, right? Yes, but tell it again. Oh my goodness. Oh! I don't know if I want to, Chad. It's embarrassing. I need at least one person to sub for me to want to do it. What's up, Trash? I'm just trying your strategies. Why does it seem like everyone's coding in Rust all of a sudden? Because it's the perfect language, just sub to Prime? Good enough for me. Oh, true. I'll just go tell it in a Discord call to the subs only. I'll just go put it... I'll go, I'll go do, do a Discord call with the subs. Fine, I'll tell the story. Trash? You'll appreciate this story. It's a whale of a tale. Rust is a trash language to Python because it's not as popular. You've got us there, Ben. Uh, so, a while ago, Bash posted her um, Recreate My Tmux Setup video. Great video. Check out Bash Bunny's YouTube if you haven't already. And so then a bunch of people in Bash's community tell her, hey, Bash, you're on the front page of 4chan, or I don't know what the name of it's called. You're trending on 4chan. Well, I don't know what the word that they call it. You're degenning on 4chan. I'm not sure what the word is. So Bash was like, well, that's crazy. And so then I was like, Bash, I'll go tell you what people are saying. They said 4chan and slash G, which I only know is global replace. So 30 minutes later, I finally figure out how to find an article. I'm scared to click on the website because it seems like a cesspool. And and so I'm scrolling through the comments. Surprisingly large number of pro of comments actually saying Bash did a good job, which I was like, that's good news for you, Bash on 4chan on 4chan and they're saying that it was a pretty good video. I'm like, wow, that's good. However, though, about three quarters, four, three quarters of the way down, three quarters of the way down, I'm reading it and there's a comment with a linked video, but you can't see the link yet. You know, it just says whatever. And it says, what the heck? Why is this seven out of 10 with this three out of 10 dude? And so I'm like, oof. 
They making fun of Bash's boyfriend? Open up the picture. It's me and Bash doing a collab together. So... I... I... I got absolutely demolished by 4chan. I just a friendly friend out here trying to help a friend. Bash, here's what the internet's saying. You know, they're they're doing well. They're liking your videos. And then sure enough, out of nowhere, personal insults to me. I'm not even in the 4chan thread. Wait, who is the three? It was very clear that they were saying I was the three out of 10 and Bash was the seven out of 10. 3 out of 10 as a programmer, solid 8.5 in total. For absolutely nothing. Yeah, you. of course you can call me 3 out of 10, Trash. I was like, I'm not sure. Yeah, it was a good call that you didn't check it, Bash. There were lots of comments that I filtered. Um, I gave... But, but the surprisingly high percentage of them were actually compliments. So that part was good. I felt like that was good. Um, but I was not expecting to get absolutely roasted. I was tempted to figure out how to make an account and start uh, white knighting myself, but I didn't. I didn't do it. Hey, that guy! That guy actually is married and he has two kids. You know, <laughs> just so you know, he's he's married. <laughs> he has a successful career, and um, he doesn't need your validation, 4chan. Okay, he doesn't need it. <laughs> He's happily married. He definitely doesn't care what you think. Very happily, okay? Very happily married. <laughs> uh, yeah, also he's really smart and he's actually pretty handsome. The, that thumbnail was just not very flattering, okay? He doesn't look very good in YouTube thumbnails. He looks better in real life. The camera really knocks him down a few numbers. <laughs> but according to 4chan being married is a dead end true that would just prove that he's living a bad life he, he's better in 4k yeah he can type 130 words per minute <laughs> yeah he might be a 3 out of 10 but have you seen him type to be honest they would probably rate anyone below 5 I think they really don't like thumbnails of platonic friends they can't believe that a boy and a girl could know each other and enjoy their friendship. So they're very upset uh, at the thumbnail with boy and girl. Does ratings start at zero? So, what are you going to do? Just tell them you're Telescopic Johnson. And on the internet, guys and girls can't just be friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, they're jealous because I know a girl. <laughs> Oh, dang, Calder, that would have been funny. Yeah, well, sure, his face is maybe 3 out of 10, but he's a hand model. I must be dating every person I clever talk to ever. <laughs> he, I'm a hand... That guy, that Teej guy, he's a hand model. You guys wouldn't know, though. He doesn't put his hand... He doesn't give that away in thumbnails for free. Um, that's why no keyboard cam. Exactly, Stu. Exactly. You get the picture. You understand what's going on. What about the feet, though? Uh, I mean, I can show feet. I'm wearing sweet socks today. You guys want to see? They're dope, but they're light mode. They're light mode socks. Do you use leap.envim? No, I'm slow and clunky. Oh! Look at these sweet socks, chat. That's a big M for go blue, chat. Not programmer socks, sorry. W, oh, true. If I hold them up like this, that's a W. Big W socks. Oh, big W. These socks are a big W. Nice flexibility. Thanks, Trash. Please let this become your thumbnail. Go Wichigan. 
I also have yellow socks only with pizza slices on. That's nice, though. Everything's a W. Um, so there you go. They are cool socks today, though. That one was for free. I don't know what what's this is all about. Suddenly, 10 out of 10. Big W. D dudes posting their Ws. Should I... Should I... Should I tag dudes posting their Ws on Twitter with this? What do you think? Writing Rust? Writing Rust? And Big W Socks. <sighs> yeah, Trash, I'm pretty sure they're more of a bot account than yours. <laughs> you remind me of this with your W move. Rollerblading. It has seven views. Oh, wait. Stupak, it's your video? <laughs> Good video, Stu. Are your dot from the universe restricted to debut systems only by any chance? This bot does numbers. Oh, well, this is turning to a hot tub channel? Needed for sound effect. That makes sense. Because Vegan didn't have uh, the ability to do timestamps, right? Um, chat, I don't know why I can't get this to, to build. Um, uh, maybe I should try updating Trunk as well. It might not be the worst idea. Although now that just started a big new recompile, so maybe that'll fix it. What do you think about Helix? Um, I don't think about it very often, but it seems like a good editor. Pretty sure that 4chan would rate the Prime Daddy 11 out of 10. Uh, that's hard to deny. Do 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 could not compile Twitch OAuth 2. Why could you not compile Twitch OAuth 2? Probably because here. No no no. Well maybe we can try this, right? It's Twitch IRC, which which one is the one that has Twitch OAuth 2? Twitch API 2. Twitch API 2. I don't feel like I even need... I, this isn't even right, though. Types. I think this is probably just wrong. We should just get rid of this. Or not this one. This const one. This doesn't make sense to be in here. Who is using this? Is it just vegan? Because if so, I don't care. Now it looks like me too. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Yeah, me and Bash are going to do two videos a week for the rest of the year. Two videos a week for the rest of the year. Uh, I don't know why this is happening, chat. I, I'm pretty sure it's Vegan's fault, though. I feel confident that it's probably Vegan's fault. It would have been easier to come in and make last week smart Calder. What are you working on? We're working on a thing called sub. Imagine working an admin system written in COBOL. So I'm just trying to think. What if we just this whole thing doesn't even need to get lib. Where's const? Config feature is sequel this is not really the right thing but that's fine so 
So this is types. So then now we can do this is optional equals true. And then we can say SQL is depth Twitch API too. something like this, I think will work. Cargo build cargo build workspace. Let's see if this is still even working. I probably should not do too much without actually checking to make sure that, that works. And this doesn't smell like oh camel. Oh, dude. Oh, camel, man. It would be fun if I had a project to actually write OCaml on. But there's, I don't, just don't really have anything else that I feel like I really need to do that for. Not fine. Sub Twitch. Wait, what? Which, so it's trying to find subtype source lib. Can I find SQL X in this scope? Huh. Do I need to use? So it said that this should be SQL. So then that should be SQL X. So that should, that should be SQL X. So that should all happen here. Features SQL X. Config adder SQL. Which I see default features fault switch API. Huh. Okay, so let's try going to create subtypes. Cargo build. J Doe. Hey, thanks for the sum. Been subscribed for two months. I appreciate that. Thank you for sending the prime gaming. While we're waiting for this, did we get any um, updates on these? It probably could be inlined. He's probably right about that. Okay. So this doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Derive. How can I do this? Feature equals sequel. Maybe we should just look up how to use this config adder rust. Okay, so why would it show me this if that doesn't even exist there? Target OS, Windows, path equals this. Oops, I didn't want to click on that. So com feature equals this. Zero one or more attributes may be listed. Multiple attributes can be expanded into separate attributes. When the magic feature is enabled, the above will expand to sparkles and crackles. So that's, that's what I thought would happen when I do this. Dep SQL X. Am I not doing that part right? Features. By default, this optional dependency implicitly defined a feature that looks like this. That means this dependency will only be included if the GIF feature is enabled. Or GIF if you prefer. In some cases, you may not want to expose a feature that is the same name as the optional dependency. For example, perhaps the optional dependency is an internal detail, or you want to, if you do that, if you specify the optional dependency with that prefix anywhere in the features, that disables the implicit feature. Dep, rabbit, dep, RGB. So then why would SQL X not be there? SQL X is in scope, but it is a crate, not an attribute. Okay, sure. Can I do this? Could not find SQL X in SQL X. How did I do this before? I 
Well, let's say we just we just comment this part out for a sec. Does this work? Derive Postgres type in SQLX. Could not find. Oh, we got to say probably Postgres here. That doesn't really make sense though, does it? No, because it should be that in my main cargo, I have SQLX here. And this has Postgres. Feature is SQL. Cargo build feature SQL. Features SQL. Could not find Postgres type in SQL X. Could not find Postgres type in SQL X. Is this going to show up on here? Derive SQL S Postgres type. Weaves will inherit. That's that's news to me. I started filming shorts in OBS and it's great. Nice, Bash. Does that count? Are you doing one short and one major video or are you going to do both? Um, why does this show such a crap version for SQL X? Who would do such a thing? 3.6 UUID UUID time beaster. I wonder if there's some is there anything for derive that I need to do? Derive SQL X from row. Uh, okay, so if I do this, this should at least compile, right? Okay, this compiles. Great. Okay. No schedule under just for discovery. Nice, Bash. Okay. Oh, what up, Griff? Good to see you, buddy. Um, uh, okay, so I thought I was doing this right because I feel like if I do this Derive SQL X Postgres type This works No Wait, how did I get Postgres? How did I get the wrong type for that at some point? How did that happen? Chat, any thoughts? How did that happen? What the heck? Does this work? Okay, so I don't know how that happened. SQL X. Does this work now because that's inside of there? Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so now if I go back to here, we try and compile these again. Let's just see where we get to now. Okay, cool. So we go here, const. I don't think we use this anywhere, do we? Okay, so we can just delete this and also delete this. I 
I just go ahead and show you where you could disable, disable YouTube shorts. Or like you could just watch them in the normal one. So you could like watch at different speed or other things like that, right? It's pretty annoying. Z, why hello there. Use of undeclared module Twitch API 2. Sure, okay. Um, Twitch API 2. Didn't we put that in here? Pub sub. So this is in sub types. This is in... Wait, what? Twitch API 2. Oh, because this is all... Wait, so where do we use these? Hmm, we can't do that actually. Let's go to here. Twitch API 2. We'll remove this and we'll try removing this again. Moy, why thank you for the sum. Imagine find your PM that you spend four hours fixing just dependencies. Uh, well, I'm exploring it here too. I'm learning a lot of stuff. I don't actually know how this normally is supposed to work. Ideally... This would have been happening, say, like, every time we build. Uh, but somebody who was also working on the project didn't, didn't, hasn't been doing that. I don't know who. Good PM is one who can code, and uh, any PM who can not code is by definition useless. Shouldn't be doing anything. So true. Just useless. There's no possible uses for that person. You really got them there. No method of version found in response. Twitch in the current scope. Oh, two. I wonder how we're even getting to there. So that's in source client. So we could probably go to Twitch API to here to source client client.rs client.rs and then this is supposed to be 73 mod urec impl oh that seems weird zero twitch api twitch oh this is supposed to be twitch oauth two um, source client 73 here. Result.version. This is from builder. HTTP builder for this. Box pin this. I don't want to have request in here though. How do I turn that off? Oh, probably I got to do the same thing that I have here. It's so annoying. Let's try that. I have no idea what's going on. Same. You can manage a hospital if you're not a doctor. Obviously not. You need to be a doctor in a hospital. Otherwise, how will you ever know what the requirements are? No, definitely that's wrong. Very few doctors. Very few doctors would make good hospital managers. I don't know of any hospital where the hospital manager is the person. Does this Is this going to work? Server listening here. All right, I'm not running this, so we should run cargo run bin chat. Oh, but I don't think I'm even starting. I don't even think I'm starting the U connection here yet. Let's go to chat.rs. It's an entirely different field of work. It's about as far away from being the doctor as possible. Hospital managers should all be janitors. Changed my mind. Can't do it. Well, my copy pasta wasn't funny, Sag. I missed it. Wait, I think it's hilarious. He gets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a classic. That's a classic. Sorry, tired. I was I was trying to figure out uh, if Ben is being serious or if he's trolling.
All right, so we haven't done this one yet. So we need to write this side of the equation and then we can actually make it so that we're communicating to the front end. Very exciting. Very exciting. Blue, blue sky. Better on the party on the day that I die. Great song, Stu. This song or the one I was just singing? This is called Perfect Travel by McVinsky. What up, BB? That's what I think about you. About that, EB. I love this. This Teej guy. I learned how to do every job in the government. Don't bother running for president. Well, that's different, Calder, because nobody knows what they're doing there. Worst take I've ever in a long time. The wor even worst take is the hospital manager one. Listen to Synth 2? I just, I'm listening to Chill on Monster Cat. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work then. Sounds right. The employees know what they're doing just as much as the elect. <laughs> so we actually got this to build again. That's pretty exciting. Maybe before we go any further, we should probably please begin check to make sure depths can compile WASM. Okay. So we need to make a new a new handler basically for this. Can I compile on Wasm 2? I if you want to, I guess. Is there a project commit today? Directly into master? Of course, why not? It's my project. I don't think anybody can be a president of Super Bowl, Super System, one person cannot run a country. Okay, now we actually agree on something. I don't want you to say a good one here. Don't say any good takes, Ben. <laughs> um, I don't need this one anymore. Began has fixed that. Um, uh, but, but I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Uh, okay. Recursive loop. That's okay. I don't care if it's recursive. So we need to put something here. I wonder if I can put this into sub to you. I don't think that's a good idea though. I'm just going to put it in lib source. Uh, what does beacon have? Beacon's made just a ton of them in here, right? So we can just say front end dot rs. That seems fine. And we need to do um, lib and we need to say pub mod front end. Okay. And then we need to say we're going to make pub you talker. I don't know. Something like this. Making a plugin. Not exactly. I'm making subbed. Guys, can you get the research for setting up and developing in Rust on Windows? I feel like it should mostly be the same, right? Um, and then what did we do for this for like theme song? We've got, um, what are we impling again? We're impling this. You talker. Um, async trait, async trait. We need to use anyhow results. We need, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. We need broadcast, yeah. We need event from, oh, nope, nope, nope. Nice, okay, so now this compiles, that's good. So now what are we gonna do? Well, We should ideally be able to do this. Um, 
I think we want Tokyo listener here. Okay. And then you enter the loop is this bad boy. We don't need this anymore. Delete. And then we can also delete this one. Okay. What are, what Yak are we shaving? We're not, we're actually making something happen. We're building stuff. Ah, not okay, well this time, but rust. Yes. We're back to doing some rust things. Our stuff works on Windows, download. Uh, we're going to hopefully get this page to display Twitch chat again. Ideally. And then maybe we'll also try and switch to Leftos later. This song's pretty good, honestly. We can comment this one out. Dude, dude. We need to add this. Um, unused RX. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, because we're just going to clone and subscribe each time. Okay, and then we're supposedly allowed to do this. Okay, so maybe this will work. Um, Impl U talker, pub function new, self. Oops. Oops. Okay. So now we can try this out. I'm writing LSP now, but an in browser one. Wait, what do you mean, lithium? I don't know what you, I don't know what you're saying. I don't think event loop dot push. Um, what do we call this again? Front end. You talker new. Okay. So now we do this. Cannot assign, cannot assign requested address. OS error 9999. That's probably because this is not my address anymore. So what is my, what's my current address here? And some way we'll figure out how to do this another way. I think this one's fine here. Let's see if this works. You can modify to provision studio Remember lithium, please keep it family running right now. LSP for, but this LSP will live in a web worker. Very interesting. Starting chat server. Why not bind to 0.0.0? .0, .0, .0? Hello? Okay, I don't even know if we're getting those messages to here. Maybe I should refresh this page. Testing. Another stream clean once death salary goes into six numbers, cocaine usage spikes. No, I've never done any drugs. Um, like unironically. Not as like, uh, haha, that's funny, but just like actually seriously. Oh, you know what? I bet this is, I bet I, I need to go change my one in you as well. Where I'm supposed to listen to. Um, WS, WS address, props WS address. Sub you address, sub you port. Okay, nice. So I need to, um, dot n. This needs to be changed to this. Okay, so then maybe this will work now. We, we have to restart this. That's okay. Rust is a drug, true. You did them ironically. Uh, yes, you caught me, Calder. No, I've never, I've never done any drugs. The more drugs you do, the more weed are going Um, I don't know. People have mixed experience with drugs. I, uh, I don't like them personally. No, I don't know why it's not on that, Stu. Oh no. Oh, for a second I was really worried that it was only going to do just the first message and that it was going to be really bad. But it's not that. It's actually working. Oh 
my goodness, that really scared me. Rust is a gateway drug, though. I mean, that one's... Yeah. We did it. Oh, we don't have emotes anymore, though. We have to get emotes again. <clears throat> we gotta get emotes back. We have to do several things to get emotes back. Dragon Forge is just the way in my... No, 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 it's okay. I don't get offended. Uh... There's very few things that would offend me, I guess, basically, Calder. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about that. What's that end file path? <laughs> so we have a difficulty here, which is that... Um, this uh <laughs> this doesn't actually run locally you need to put this in here at compile time but uh we'll figure out a way to do this later i don't know how to do this yet to tell it dynamically what websocket port to connect to they're connecting from different computers i don't set fixed ips no we are using twitch rust sdk for a lot of things what Stu? I'm aware that things could be easier in, for this project if I set fixed IPs. I'm, I mean, and I'm sure they're better, generally speaking, too. No, no, no. .env doesn't work because it needs to be done at compile time, not runtime. So just don't worry about this, chat. That's a, it literally says this is a bad hack. We'll fix it later. Okay. You get a super short overview. Rust code go burr 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 chat message here. Is like a little longer or was that good? Classic fix it later, aka never. No, we'll fix it later. A little longer. Oh, okay. All right, sure, fair enough. Um, we got one process here. This is the main subbed uh executable, basically. Okay. It's running stuff, it's listening to messages, it's doing all sorts of things. I got a separate process over here. This is our front end here. Now, what we'll be able to do later, I don't actually know if this will even work. Will this work? This is probably the wrong uh, properties. I got to change to the other. Um, one sec. I can probably get this to go here. Let's see if this works. Um, yeah. Let's see if that shows up. See? Okay. So now you see this. Chat, you see this? You see this floating here? You see that floating? That's... That's subbed. That's the same thing. Now it's a browser source. Okay? Nodders. Yeah, we'll figure out how to get Nodders to work. Okay? Right? So, this is, so now it's in OBS. So then you're like, okay, well then, now you can do whatever you want. I would like to... What? I don't even know what that means. I feel like now I'm an old person. It's, it sounds very inappropriate very inappropriate so now you could do something though like um here who's got a theme song we can do delete from user user theme song history i think does this still show up or no hmm. we must have turned that off i thought we had it so that this would show up here up up here um up here symphonio hey thank you for the prime gaming that's me i don't remember i probably some um are we sending we're sending theme song download we should be sending theme song start use effect with depths Sub count, sub goal, theme song should be should be happening. Yeah, I think it was a weed only, nothing heavy for sure. Wait, what? Third flood, I thought of Halo. Okay, so I thought for sure what would happen was um, we would get something showing right here. 
But I guess not. Okay. Are we not sending that message anymore? Um, theme song play. Play. Theme song play. So I would have thought theme song mod. We should be sending this to saying, hey, we're sending a theme song play event. I see that it says this here. But like, I don't see... I only being helping now, nothing works. Well, we did completely switch everything. Um, yeah, I've written quite a bit of Go. I like it, all right. Uh, can someone with theme song chat? Okay, yeah, so I thought that it was going to show up here. But it didn't show up. Go by example is good, yep. Is this should be sending this? Oh, I guess the other thing would be, are we still sending it? Theme song download, Twitch subscription, Twitch at message. Mm, we're not sending it right now. So if I do event uh, theme song play. This should restart, right? Why didn't this restart? Am I just doing cargo run? That seems weird. Okay, we'll try this. One of the best ways to start writing efficient codes is to make open source contributions. Yeah, that is a good way to learn a lot of things. Um, I don't know, Pixel. It's just off today. I don't know why. I don't think I did. But maybe I did. Doing open source stuff is really good. I don't know why everything just recompiled. That seems really wrong. Seems just really wrong. Okay, so now, now let's have someone try and do their theme song again. We'll just keep listening to Stu's because it's a good one. And I'm thinking, oh, we'll probably need to do this as well. Is it, is, oh, playing Stupak theme song. Look at that. Right there. Right there, chat. Right there. You got some nice biddies. What? How did I miss that? One sec. One sec. Uh, eight, a thousand biddies. Wait, what? Hey, thank you, air, a, 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 That's why I start. Uh, have I gone through all of the Rust book? I did like ninety-five percent of it. I skipped some parts that I didn't think I needed. Imposter. So there you go. Look at that chat. Playing Stupak theme song. Now you would have thought. You would have maybe thought. Hey. Um. Theme song play. Wouldn't that have sent theme song play and then that you're finished? I don't know. I would have thought so too. And that that was that this would have gone away. But I guess not. <laughs> so. That's that's maybe for a different day, huh? I don't know why I didn't that. Nice, that's a good one, Gil. Um, okay. Let's see what time is it? 415? Let me ask Bash, are you still here? Bash? Did you want to record Bash to Basics right now? Am I all done streaming? Is what you're doing GDPR compliant? If not, that's going to be a massive problem. Uh yeah, you can delete yourself by getting banned from chat. That's the easiest way. To remove yourself from the history and by massive problem I think you're not uh, I thought you were on the West Coast I'm on the East Coast I'm not on the East Coast I'm just in East Coast time do you have a plugin to do go to definition yes like if you wanted to go to like here's the definition of this okay that's the definition of this one okay sure well where is this one going okay so you go here and then you can go here and then you go to the definition of this and then you're like oh what's the time on then you go here and then yeah I think a Twitch username is PII. You'll sue TJ and get $5 a month. To make it GDPR, I don't even know what that would mean in the context of Twitch chat. You're sending the messages on Twitch's platform.
I don't think it's me. I think it's just Twitch. Uh, well, it's Twitch. Should I just tweet about it? Should I just tweet? Maybe today is the day that I just start streaming on YouTube. It's too late now. I'm obviously not going to, but we're just going to bait people online, of course. Hmm. Make sure you have Vim, Help, and Lua installed for tree sitter lines. I think it was mentioned in the release notes. Um, is there gonna be another coding challenge? Yeah, we'll do some more stuff. We'll definitely do some more. Angry tweeting, get the mob after him. During the whole evening, my apologies, you've been a good sport. I, that's good. I was a little worried you were being serious. Not for me, but for you. So I'm glad to hear that you were trolling. Okay, we should raid someone. And then me and Bash, I gotta record some stuff with Bash. Should we raid Kit Boga? Chat slash Rust developers, can you comment on Rust usage with AWS? I don't know what that means. Is Gri oh, Griff is streaming. We did just give him a shout out recently. Well, this is working well. This is working very well. Good, jo good job. Is Kit working or is even Kit scuffed? Twitch having issues again. Should we just raid him while it's not working? Would love to watch anyone. We'll send it to Griff. We'll send everybody to Griff. I do love me some Kit Boga though. I do like how right now, since it's messed up, it's got it's got uh, <laughs> Kit Boga's face on Griffing. I do like this. I do like this pairing. This is a solid pairing. I don't even know if anyone's... I can't even see the Twitch pop-up to do the raid. Can't even click any buttons. I, I already typed slash raid to start the raid. I can't... If I just do slash raid again, is it going to send everybody? Like, I already have... I already typed slash raid. The, the bar is going down, but there's no button to say do the raid now. So it might just happen. My viewer number accounts are all over the place right now. Sure, you can sponsor me if you want. Get up sponsors. TJV is the best place to sponsor. Join the Discord. We'll hang out there. For more info on the book club, join book club Discord. That's going to be amazing. It's going to be exciting. Read me. The Software Dev Book Club is going to be very exciting. First book, Seven Langs, exciting times. I'm just going to keep saying exciting. So whenever you think of my stream, the first thing you associate with it is exciting. Exciting. Will the book club have DevOpsy books? Maybe. We're going to do lots of stuff. Bye.